Thanks for choosing BT Infinity. We've made this short video to help you understand what will happen next and also how to install your new Hub 5. After you've placed your order, you'll receive an email from us confirming your order details. This will have the date your BT Infinity starts and other useful information, so please keep this safe. Always remember to check your junk mail folder in case your email has filtered it there. A couple of days before your activation date, you'll receive your new Hub 5. This will be delivered to your home and our packaging fits most letterboxes, so no need to wait in. On the day of your order activation, you may lose service for up to 30 minutes whilst we connect your Infinity broadband. We'll send you either a text or email when your broadband's ready. Please be aware, this can be any time on the day up to midnight, so please don't worry if you don't get confirmation until late in the day. If you want to plug in your Hub 5 before you get our email or text, that's fine, but you might lose service for a while until your BT Infinity is ready. Otherwise, once you receive your Infinity Activation SMS, plug in your new Hub 5. To plug in your new Hub 5, you'll need to locate your main phone socket in your home. There are two main types and we'll cover both. The first shown here is a socket with one hole. If you have this type of socket, unplug your phone and any old micro filters, then plug in your new micro filter into the socket. If you have other extensions around your home, you should also plug filters into these to improve your broadband speeds. Should you require any extra filters, we can supply these by contacting us at the BT Shop on www.shop.bt.com or you can call Monday to Friday between the hours of 9am and 5pm on 0800 917 0510. Next, connect your new Hub 5. On the back of your hub is a light grey socket marked Broadband DSL. Connect the broadband cable to this socket. The cable also has light grey ends. It's colour-coded to keep it simple. Next, connect the other end of the cable to the microfilter. Remember to reconnect your telephone into the other part of the microfilter. The second socket type that you may have has a faceplate fitted and there'll be two holes, one for your broadband and one for your phone. You do not need microfilters on this type of socket. Simply plug the light grey cable from the Hub 5 directly into the smaller socket. Next, assemble the power plug by sliding the two parts together and connect the power cable to the back of the Hub in the socket marked Power. Press the power button on the back of the Hub 5 to turn it on. Wait a couple of minutes. Coloured lights will flash while the Hub finishes a self-test and sets up your broadband. A steady blue light means your broadband's ready to use. Should your light not turn blue, there's help at hand in the troubleshooting section of the installation guide. 